الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وقول الأمر منكم وأن always a reminder for myself أن عبدك العجيز الضعيف والمسكين والظالم والجهل but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence Alhamdulillah that these are the final nights of the holy month of Ramadan and that Allah inshaAllah to complete His favours upon ourselves, our family, our community and the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and to make them as shining stars on Yawmul Mashar to be raised to show the honour of Sayyidina Muhammad This immense love story and this is a, a way of love and ishq. Allah's immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad Habib Allah, Habib Allah the one whom Allah loves, the love of Allah and that Muhammadun Rasulullah is the Messenger of Allah And that alhamdulillah Shaykh Habib Jifri posted a reminder that the immensity of this love that Prophet was sitting with the companions and describing a servant in the nation of Bani Israel who had served Allah for a thousand months in perfect service. And the companions were so mesmerized by that reality and the sadness that Prophet felt for his nation. This is how we know we are so so loved that while we try to carry the world, there's someone great carrying us. And the sadness that he felt for his nation that they won't achieve 1,000 months. Of perfect worship to Allah And as a result of that light, that, that thought that concern entering the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad that how will my nation have a thousand months of perfect worshipness and how will they possibly complete such a reality so that my nation be the, the brightest, most purified, most perfected nation to be presented to Allah and Allah sent an amazing love to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad that, don't worry I give your nation in one night, in one night I'll dress them with 1000 months of perfect worshipness. And this was the, the glory and the establishment of Laylatul Qadr, that Allah's response in this love this is a, a life in which the prayer is, is not by hand but when the love is so deep the prayer is within the heart. Then one cares for someone so sincerely within their being that I care for my nation and they don't achieve, I don't see them all achieving that. And Allah granted, don't worry. I'll make it in one night, just they sit that night, I'll dress them with 1000 months of perfect worship. And this SubhanAllah, Allahu Akbar, that all we have to do is love Prophet and like children to their father, you know the dunya father that may forget you but the Heavenly Father, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad who never forgets his nation and he opened for his nation 
that if they sit on these 10 days, they will be dressed. Whether they saw it, they didn't see it, it doesn't matter for Allah They will be dressed with the lights of this thousand months of perfect worshipness. And this is the greatness of the intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad For that alone we show our thankfulness that that's why we're fasting. Not because the enjoyment of not eating and drinking, the headaches and difficulties that may occur, but Ya Rabbi you grant it so much uh, to all my being to show my gratefulness and my thankfulness and that I owe everything to show my thankfulness to Sayyidina Muhammad who grants us these lights and these blessings, grants us these dressings that come back on my nation. That when we love Sayyidina Muhammad more than we love ourselves, Allah begins to reveal the immensity of the generosity oceans that you don't know how much I dressed upon His love. If you come back to that love, sit in the shade of that love, circumambulate that love, make your whole life about the love of Sayyidina Muhammad That Allah's infinite rahmah and mercy to dress us and bless us, keep sickness away from us, keep hardship away from us, make every difficulty to be at ease, every locked to be unlocked and that every grace and blessing to dress us with Allah's satisfaction and rida and forgiveness. Alhamdulillah. That Allah gave us the immensities of this reality, this holy month of Ramadan and everything that Allah want to dress upon the nation for that reality. <coughs> and the same for all these teachings, all of these awliya, holy companions, Ahlul Bayt, Whatever they're inspiring of their teachings into the heart is from that rahmah. Not that everybody will achieve it but the fact that you heard it they'll dress you by it and that's the great achievement. It's not all the things I want in life and what, what the, the expression is. To have what I want. This world is about to have what I want but in reality it's about wanting what I have. This dunya makes us to be fooled about having what we want and keep praying to Allah, these are all the things I want but it's reality is that Allah is you have to want what you have, you have to be thankful for what you have and identify the treasure within it. I gave you the greatest treasure. Those whom are sitting and hearing and listening, the greatest treasure is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad the highest level of belief and the highest level of perfection. Allah said, what do you want more than that? And these lights and dressings and teachings and majlis and, and praisings are all the dress and blessings and medallions upon your soul, what is it that you want more than that? The trash of dunya, the dirtiness of dunya and all the things that we're asking from of dunya, Allah says, it doesn't compare to the weight of a wing of a mosquito and what I have granted you and given to you of these realities and this love, one day you'll know. Those who know before they die it's a great achievement, those who don't then they'll feel the sadness in the grave, Ya Rabbi I didn't understand the immensity of what you were giving to me. Had I known maybe I could have achieved more but alhamdulillah either way it's an immense dress and immense blessing. We pray that Allah open our hearts and take away any heedlessness and grant us a himmah and zeal to achieve. Fa'awzu billahi min ash-shaytanir-rajeem
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim from Ayat al-Kareem from Surat al-Qadr, Laylat al-Qadr khayru min alfi shahar. <coughs> Laylat al-Qadr khayru min alfi shahar. And we described last night <coughs> Allah giving us the reality of that binary code. If you learn to be off, Allah will turn the energy on. If your life is learning how to enter into layl and how to efface yourself to be nothing, in the darkness of the night when the world is sleeping that you spend your time in connecting and meditating. And if Allah grant to you layl, said that if you open layl, I open for you Qadr. This is the gift. Every time you enter into a layl and annihilate, Allah grants the gift of Qadr. By the Kareem, because this is a Qur'anic guidance, Laylatul Qadr, that at every moment if you face yourself, my reward to you is Qadr, Qafil Qur'anil Majeed. My Qur'an will dress you with power oceans on your soul. And that's why this whole love is about where is this Qur'an coming from? Holy Qur'an is emanating from the soul, manzal Qur'an, the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad That light dresses you, that light blesses you. And at every moment from the heart of Prophet is coming, Laylatul Qadr, khayrun min, Allah going to give khayr the best of min. Of this mim noon, I'm going to dress you in this annihilation that you enter, this qadr that I give to you, I'm going to dress you from the mim and the noon, the Muhammadan nur. That this mim to dress you, bless you, and this is the reality of the noon. This is the reality of the noon, noon wal qalam, noon wal qalam. All, all these that we're teaching you, all the same source. Qur'an teaches us, Ayatul Kareem, noon wal qalam. Allah testifies by this noon and the reality of the qalam which we described last night as Qul Ya Muhammad Allah's Divinely speech of Qur'an, Qaf and Lam to this tongue of reality is known as Muhammadun Rasulullah and the qalam writes every reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah all of them are owned by Sayyidina Muhammad He is the treasure of Allah Khayru min, khayru min. I'm going to grant you in every annihilation this Muhammadan light, khayru min alfi shahar. Alf. Alif Lam Fa Al Fa Al Fa like Al Rahman Al Fa Shahr. I'm going to grant you from Alf Shahr. We are a nation in which Allah gave the immense reality of guidance. And that the month represents a tajalli of guidance in which we on dunya are calculating time. But for Allah within the paradise oceans of eternity that has no time, the significance of Shamsi wal Qamar that you are a nation of guidance and other nations they have left the guidance and they think they take directly from the sun. And they took their calendars, their way, their time on this earth by solar and tariq al-adab and they left the secrets of guidance. The nation that kept to the way of the qamar is a nation in which they take to the chali, the tajalli of the sun upon themselves 
but more important what the sun sends to the moon and the moon guides them. And that's why Allah left all creation under the guidance of the moons and these were the Prophets. And that at a higher level Prophet is the sun of all guidance, Shams al-Ma'rifah, Shams al-Arifeen. This reality of Prophet is the eternal light of Allah and as a result I left behind for you my moons. Any one of them will guide you into this reality. So for the shar, the moon is a stage of veils and tajallis for us. So dunya people, the moon is a blocking of time, 12 moons and they're calculating their time on earth. For al-ahr al-marifa, the moon are hijabs of light that reflect the reality of an eternal light because these are the reality within the self and the reality on the horizon. So spirituality is that the light of the sun is from an eternal reality. It hits the perfected guides and these guides they watch over creation. So our life is to take guidance, to be connected. Itasimu bihablillah, tafaraq, hold tight to the rope of Allah and don't separate. And Allah gave to us, Prophet gave to us the realities of tariqahs that they hold the moon, they represent the reflection of that shahr, they, they represent the reflection of guidance upon the earth. They take from the Muhammadan light, they reflect within their being and they guide humanity. So in Ayatul Kareem, Khayru min alfi shahar, Allah is now giving us that understanding that the tajalli that coming on to you in this month from this shahr, from this tajalli, from this guidance is the secret of alif. Secret of Alif, Al Fa. So when they say Al, Alif, Alfi, Alfi, it's actually Al Fa. That Fa is the opening of Alif. That when Allah want to grant this Izza, grant this might from the oceans of Alif. Means this alif opens alif lam fa. Allah's izza moves upon this lam. Is always going to be a lam. There's always a tongue for Allah. There's always a lisan to give this secret to humanity that is the tongue of Sayyidina Muhammad. So, what comes then? Fa. From Fa becomes Fatiha and the entire opening of all these oceans and realities. That Allah giving Alfi, why Alfi? In this spirituality is the tajalli of Alfi. The tajalli of Alfi is Alif Lam Fa. That from Allah's ancient Alif, this ancient Izzatullah, that I'm going to give this through the secret of my Rasul. He's going to grant you my fa in the fatanaka fatan muveenan. What is the great opening of Allah? Surah Yaseen is the secret of Quran, Surah Fatiha is the secret of Surah Yaseen. Quran's essence is Surah Yaseen, Surah Yaseen's essence is the reality of. Fatiha. The reality of Fatiha is in the Fa and that this ancient Alif is going to dress you with the secret of this Fa and that's why Allah said, give to your nation not to eat, not to drink, fast and that my Alif will grant them a reward 
that no ear has heard and no eye has seen. And it comes directly from Divinely Presence to raise their light, bless their light, dress their lights. Min alfi shahar. And this shahar it has its reality in the sheen he ra. That's why the month is a secret of guidance that we're trying to receive from the sheen which is from Arsh and Majid. The Holy Throne of the Divinely Presence is coming a hay and hidayaj for guidance in the hand of Rabbaniyoon. That's why the shahr, the month is a reality of guidance. This is a coding that this month, this shahr that those whom represent my moons and reflection of Muhammadun Rasulullah Allah's alf, Allah's izzat, might and the secret of the Fatiha is dressing their sheen, that they're dressing them from Arsh and Majeed and as a result the hidayat and guidance that flowing through their soul. And Allah said, this is only in the hands of Rabbaniyoon. And as a result they dress the nation, bless the nation. We pray that Allah keep us amongst these realities and these Rabbaniyoon, these Ashiqeen and immense lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad so our Rabbi ka Rabbil Izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri Surat al-Fatiha.